Hello, DJ Vic Weber with you. Welcome back to Logic Pro 10 Beginner's Course. We've looked at piano roll editing, score editing. Now let's take a look at the step editor. And looking at the step editor, I've added a little drum track. Nothing too fancy, let you take a listen to it. And we're going to go over to the step editor and I'll show you ways to really get in there and dial this guy in and have a lot of fun with it. So once we click step editor, what you'll notice is we get what's called lanes or referred to as lanes in Logic Pro 10. So each individual lane you can kind of look at as like an audio channel. We've got volume, pan, modulation, pitch bend, channel pressure, poly pressure, program, and velocities. These are like velocity stocks. The higher it is, the louder it is. And the lower it is, the softer it gets. You can also see that the grids are a little bit different for each one. Some are the same, some aren't. So if we go over to Inspector and we're in velocity, or I'm sorry, in volume, we could actually change the grid right here by pulling this drop down menu and selecting whatever we want quarter notes, eighth notes and 16th notes, 30 seconds, whatever your needs are. That's how you change the grid lines for each individual one. You just highlight it and then go over to the inspector here and change it. So let's say we want to create like drum rolls and snare rolls and things like that. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go back to the piano roll, click out in the open here with my pointer tool, Command A selects everything step editor and we'll go over to lanes I can get rid of the inspector now go over to lanes and we've got new lane set new lane set for GM drums new lane set for current events and that's gonna say since I've highlighted the notes if I click new lane set for current events it's going to bring everything over for us. So these are all the drum sounds that we have selected in the piano roll, now represented in the step editor. So back to Inspector for a minute. And we can actually name each individual one. Let's see what this guy is. That's our kick, so I'll go over here and I'll type in kick. Let's see what this guy is. Like a little tom effect, so I'll just use, I'll say tom. Tom FX. What do we got on this one? Another tom FX2. And finally, Tom FX3. So I didn't really get too creative there. Just tutorial purposes. All right, so we've got those named. And now we've got our individual lanes. But let's say on Tom FX2, we want to create some sort of nice little roll or something cool like that. Come up here to our tools, click Pencil. And if you can, you can draw in the volume or the velocity. I can get crazy with it, do anything I want. But the, the pencil tool itself sometimes is, you know, you're not uh, exactly, you know, you get, the, you get the variations there. You can't really get too precise. So what you can do there is hold down Command. Actually, I need to have the Line tool selected over there. So hold down Command. Now we've got what's called a Line tool. It looks similar to our Marquee tool, but it actually starts and drags like a line for us and gives us wherever we drop it and let go of the mouse. Now it gives us all those velocity stocks snapped right to that line that we created. 
you'll get that nice little Tom effects roll there. And we can do that with all the different variations, volume, pan, uh, modulation, and all that. That's kind of, you know, we're working with the volume here, but let's say, uh, let's go down here and let's mess with this guy for a little bit. Right there. Let's see what that sounds like. So hopefully you get the idea there that it's pretty powerful. You can uh, individualize and, and edit each one of these as you see fit for your project. So And you can do that within all the different uh, lanes and features that we originally were looking at, the volume, pan, modulation, and so on and so forth. So that is step editing, Logic Pro 10. Let's move on to the next lesson.